Всем привет! С вами мисс Арина и мы с вами сейчас поговорим про Future Perfect Tense. Итак, что же такое Future Perfect Tense, мы с вами узнаем, его структуру, какие у него ключевые слова, случаи употребления, examples и, как обычно, сделаем небольшой practice. Итак, the future perfect tense – будущее, совершенное время. Future perfect tense переводится как будущее, совершенное время. Используется оно для описания действия, которое завершится до определенного момента в будущем. Здесь нам важно знать не время, а результат этого действия. Теперь же давайте рассмотрим его структуру. Позитив. I, you, we, they, he, she, it, will have done. Question. Will I, you, we, they, he, she, it, have done? And negative. I, you, we, they, he, she, it, will not have done. Keyword. Before, до или перед тем, как. Till, until, до. By the time, к тому времени, когда. By then, к тому времени. By 7 p.m., к 7 вечера. By tomorrow, завтра. By next month, к следующему месяцу. By next year, к следующему году. Теперь поговорим про случаи употребления. Это действие, которое должно закончиться к какому-то определенному моменту в будущем. Лайла, we will have cleaned the house by then. Она приберет к тому, дом к тому времени. Jack will have cooked dinner by 6 p.m. Джек приготовит ужин к 6 вечера. Когда что-то должно было случиться, но точно мы не знаем, оно случилось или же нет. It's 5 p.m. now. I think Mike will have already gone home. Сейчас 5 часов вечера. Я думаю, что Майк уже дошел домой. She thinks her father will not have left Moscow. Она думает, что папа не уедет из Москвы. Examples. She will have arrived at the station by tomorrow. Она прибудет на станцию до завтра. We will have built house by May. Мы построим дом к маю. Mike will not have finished the presentation by 6 o'clock. Майк не закончит свою презентацию до 6 часов. Will you have cooked dinner when I come home? Ты приготовишь ужин к моменту моего возвращения домой. How many pictures will you have painted by the end of the day? Сколько картин ты нарисуешь до конца дня? How will they have found the photographer by next weekend? Как они найдут фотографа к следующим выходным? Practice. Теперь немножко practice. Turn this sentence into question and negative ones. То есть вам нужно... Из positive сделать questions and negative sentences. I will have finished this task by Friday. By next summer he will have graduated from university. They will have completed the project by the end of the month. By the time the movie ends we will have seen All the main characters. Окей, okay, я вам даю немного времени и ставьте тоже паузу, пожалуйста, выполняйте задание. <coughs> так, ну что ж, я думаю, мы можем проверять. So, let's check. Positive. I will have finished this task by Friday. Question. Will I have finished this task by Friday? And negative, I will not have finished this task by Friday. Next one, positive. 
By next summer, you will have graduated from university. Question. By next summer, will he have graduated from university? And negative. By next summer, he will not have graduated from university. Positive. They will have completed the project by the end of the month. Question. Will they have completed the project by the end of the month? And negative. They will not have completed the project by the end of the month. And last one. Positive. By the time the movie ends, we will have seen all the main characters. Question. By the time the movie ends, will we have seen all the main characters? And negative. By the time the movie ends, we will not have seen all the main characters. Ok, and next task. Здесь ваша задача заполнить пропуски, используя будущее время. Совершенное будущее время, future perfect. By the time she arrives, I finish all the preparations. They complete their studies by the end of the semester. By next year, he travel to five different countries. We have our meeting at by 3 p.m. They graduate from university by next month. I read five books by the end of the week. She finish her project by tomorrow. We travel to six cities by the end of our vacation. Ставьте паузу, выполняйте задание. Так, ну а мы переходим к ответам. By the time she arrives, I will have finished all the preparations. They will have completed their studies by the end of the semester. By next year, he will have traveled to five different countries. We will have had our meeting by 3 p.m. They will have graduated from university by next month. I will have read five books by the end of the week. She will have finished her project by tomorrow. We will have traveled to six cities by the end of our vacation. Отлично. Здесь вам нужно задать вопросы используя будущее совершенное время, то есть future perfect. What you accomplish by the end of the year? How many countries they visit by the time they return? By what time he completes the task? How many books you read by the end of the month? Это первое. И сразу здесь у вас еще второе задание. Вам нужно изменить предложение в отрицательную форму с помощью будущего совершенного времени. By next week I will have finished the project. By next week I the project. They will have visited five museums by the end of the day. By the end of the day they five museums. I will have learned French by the end of the year. By the end of the year I French. She will have written 10 chapters by tomorrow. By tomorrow she 10 chapters. Выполняйте сразу оба задания. Так. И теперь мы, думаю, можем проверить. What will you have accomplished by the end of the year? How many countries will they have visited by the time they return? By what time will he have completed the task? How many books will you have read by the end of the month? И последнее. By next week I will have finished the project. By next week I will not have finished the project. 
they will have visited five museums by the end of the day. By the end of the day, they will not have visited five museums. I will have learned French by the end of the year. By the end of the year, I will not have learned French. And the last one, she will have written 10 chapters by tomorrow. By tomorrow, she will not have written 10 chapters. И на этом мы с вами заканчиваем. Всем спасибо. See you later. Bye-bye.